Good afternoon, 5% Nation. Christian here. And what we're going to be doing today is, is, is talking about past tense news tales of interest. Uh, a little something new that we're going to be doing. We're going to talk about events that occurred in the past, not that far back, but far enough back that you probably shouldn't care about them anymore. So let's get started right off. June 13th, 2011. Now, you guys might have heard about this, okay? But uh, MI6 basically hacked into an Al-Qaeda website. And uh, I, I don't even I didn't know the Al Qaeda had websites, um, but apparently they do. And uh, the the British um, MI6 hacked into it and uh, replaced um, what had been posted as a a way to make homemade bombs um, with uh, with with cupcake recipes. So. You know, and, and on that note, I you know I think it's it's wonderful that the British are so polite that uh, they don't replace it with like let's change this chemical with that one. So when they try to put the bomb together, it, it'll explode right in their face, and, and 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 turbines will fly fifty feet in the air, and it'll be nothing but beards on fire and and uh, and strange yelling all over the place. And, and no, they they like, let's replace them with cupcakes because they're delicious and not very harmful. And and this is what they do. So, but this is what I think is funny because um, they they replace them with um, a, a, a recipe. But the recipe is um, was published by the best cupcakes in America. That that's what it's called. Bold, I know, but apparently the best cupcakes in America. And America would know because uh, they they love to eat stuff that makes you fat. So um, they 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 replace the recipe. This is the funny thing, right? Um, the title um, of, of, to to attract. Uh, these Al Qaeda guys to this uh, this site to get an idea. I guess they're they're accumulating data to go uh, how many how many Al, Al Qaeda uh, between uh, you know beating their wives and shooting infidels are surfing the web trying to find new and better ways to to make bombs. Um, and and this is the title that's supposed to attract them to get a, an understanding. Bad English aside, make a bomb in the kitchen of your mom. I'm just gonna let that detonate in your brain for a second because uh, it's a wrap. Make a bomb in the kitchen of your mom. And the Al-Qaeda guys, well, they loved it. Um, and a lot of them went on there. Uh, the best thing is, too, the, the recipe, the cupcake recipe for, um, uh, you know, the the best cupcakes in America uh, was actually something that they had presented on the Ellen DeGeneres show, which apparently the British are, are big fans of, mostly because all their women look like men, too. But I, all I can imagine now at this point is some some really, uh, really ambitious Al-Qaeda guy uh, strapping, um, you know, these these lesbian cupcakes across his chest and, and you know, running up to the uh, to the Americans, you know, the U.S. soldier convoy, uh, you know, uh, praise Al, you know, thinking that he's going to get the 40 virgins or 80 virgins or one goat that's really good at sex, something, something up there is, is waiting. And, and when he when he blows himself up with these with these cool bombs that he found on the Internet. Um, you know, uh, praise Allah, high fives all around. Uh, you know, and really, all that happens is uh, is these these dyke cupcakes kind of just deliciously sit there on his chest as he's he's pumped full of of, of hot steaming lead through uh, through really you know by really angry U.S. soldiers who who are on a a buttload of steroids and, and lack of sex for the last five years. So, you know, just just delicious. Um, frosted death ensues for that poor guy but hilarious nonetheless because uh you know again the british wacky right why would you even do that but uh, apparently it works so so good on them june 16th colorado let's talk about it okay um senior citizen walks into a wells fargo walks up to the teller and according to officer Sater, who was on the scene later says I have AIDS. Give me the money or I will infect you with AIDS. So let's think about this, okay? Senior citizen woman, according to eyewitness reports, wearing a conductor hat and a gray sweatshirt, which in my mind is like the gray sweatshirt that like Rocky wears when he's chasing the chickens and like Rocky one and two, and get him, Rock, get the chicken. Um, that kind of thing, right? And, and uh, I don't even know the conductor hat. It's like as if uh, they had some kind of like uh, mature hustler gang bang orgy and someone brought AIDS to the party at Shining Time Station and this chick's really pissed off and and needs the money um, for her AIDS 
problems uh, either way. Uh, and, and then of course threatens the, the teller that she's going she's gonna to give her AIDS. I don't know if she means by like spitting on her or urinating on the counter and like splashing it around uh, rambunctiously, but that's the threat. Um, the woman, the, the, the senior citizen, the, 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 the crazy old conductor AIDS woman didn't get any money uh, and she fled the scene, which goes to show you know, when you are old and are wearing an easily recognizable, ridiculous hat um, and trying to rob a bank in uh, broad daylight, AIDS just isn't the way to go, you know? Gun would be, would have been my choice. You think with all that life experience, you know, gun would have been, would have been the way to go. So, um, you know, the moral of that story is if you have arthritis and AIDS, and apparently access to Mr. Dressup's tickle trunk for your bank robbing garb, you know, bring a gun. <laughs>